Hi, my name is Virginia Sapola, and this is Floral Design. Welcome. I am the program coordinator also of the Agri-Science Department, so I just wanted to mention that. So if you have any questions about the program, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to give you my contact information in just a moment. Um, to let you know a little bit about myself, I've been a teacher here at West Hill High School for seven years now, and I do have um, experience in floral design um, as well as some experience in veterinary science um, as, as far as my uh, agricultural background goes. Um, my contact information, the best way to reach me is through email. So my email is bsapola at stanfordct.gov. Please feel free to reach out to me via email. You can also give us a call at the office, though. The number is 203-977-4974. If we don't pick up, just leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. I also have a classroom Instagram, which I really recommend following. I post classroom updates. I'll post pictures of activities and, and classwork. And you can follow me at agsci underscore Cipolla. And then lastly, another great place for information about classes and the program in general is on our website at www.stanfordagriscience.com. Um, you can find information about our upcoming events, our courses. There's also a page for SAE opportunities, all kinds of great things on there. Now to talk a little bit about class for this year, I'm going to take you into Google Classroom. <clears throat> and so when you log into Google Classroom, this is what the home screen looks like for your, your children. Uh, I have shared all guardians to Google Classroom. If you can't get into Google Classroom, please send me an email so that I can make sure that you can have access. Um, and so when you get into Google Classroom, this is what it's going to look like if you open it. This first page here is going to show up in chronological order. Um, however, if you go to the Classworks tab here, you'll see that I put everything by topic. Um, so to, to go over our course description, we have general course information. Um, you can find our classroom announcements here. There will be um, SAE opportunities and events and deadlines uh, for the agri-science program coming up here. And then if you take a look, our course description is here. And I'm just going to bring you into this document. Give me one moment. Okay, so this is a great course. It's very hands-on, and I will still be following the um, hands-on model of learning for this course, and I'll explain how I'm going to do that following um, CDC guidelines. Um, but first, let me talk a little bit about the course. Um, a student who takes floral design would be able to get a job um, out of florist with the skills that they learn in this class. Um, actually, for example, one of our students is doing their SAE working for the Stanford Florist after taking floral design last year. Um, so we'll be going over a lot of different topics. Um, we'll start with some of the background knowledge that students need for floral design, and that includes the history of floral design, types of florists, elements of, and principles of design, um, which is very similar to what you would learn in an art class. Uh, flower uses and identification of cut flowers. Um, we'll also learn how to process flowers so that when you receive cut flowers, uh, you can get them to last and look fresh for much longer. Uh, students will learn about the color wheel, and then they'll start to learn some more technical skills like how to tie bows, how to use floral adhesive, floral dye sprays. We'll make holiday themed arrangements. Um, students will do corsage and boutonnieres. They'll do floral headbands. Uh, we'll also do uh, bud vases, centerpieces, triangle designs, um, crescent designs, and some contemporary designs. Uh, we Students will also learn how to price and mark up their floral arrangements, um, as well as uh, do marketing and create floral displays. And then also to take a look at our grading, our class percentages. Um, assignments, floral arrangements, projects, and homeworks are going to be worked 35% of their grade. Uh, this also includes any distance learning assignments in this category here. Tests and quizzes are going to be 25% of the grade. Classroom and laboratory participation will be 10%. FFA will be 15%. And SAE will also be 15% of the classroom grade. 
As far as lab safety rules goes, um, the way that I'm going to be instructing the class this year is that on the distance learning days, students will uh, have a video tutorial of how to make the arrangement. So that way we can make the most of the time in class. So I'll be doing a flipped classroom. Um, so on the distance days, they'll see how to make the arrangement and then they'll come in and make the floral arrangement in class. Each student will have their own individual tools um, as well as their own individual flowers. So so they won't be um, going to buckets with a bunch of flowers in them. The materials will be set out for them in their assigned space at the start of class. Um, so we'll still be following the CDC guidelines. I would like to mention that lab safety is extremely important in this course um, and that I have a zero tolerance policy for creating an unsafe work environment in the floral lab. Um, so that means no horseplay, um, making sure that tools are used as tools and that students have to, have to, have to wear close toed shoes. Um, this is very important because we work with sharp tools and safety is obviously our number one priority. So a student who is creating an unsafe environment in the lab space um, will be removed from the lab and will get a zero for um, the lab for that day. So I just wanted to mention that because it really is extremely important, especially in a course where you're using floral shears and floral knives. Um, and then to let you know, um, there isn't a set text for the course. Um, all of the materials will be posted to Google Classroom. Um, so any, any PowerPoints, any worksheets, um, any instructional information will all be available on Google Classroom for students. Um, I also will be offering extra help during my free periods and outside of school. I'm free during periods two, six, and seven, and students can email me to set up a time to come in for extra help. I'm fairly flexible, and I am available outside of school for that as well. We'll be doing it through a virtual meeting if it's outside of school. Um, and then... I believe that's all I have for you this evening. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to shoot me an email. Um, please give us a call, and thank you very much.